Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss another sample problem. This time guys, this is about integral calculus. So this problem here guys, as you can see, involves... Uh, trigonometric integrals okay so this is the indefinite integral so indefinite siya kasi wala siyang limit the indefinite integral of cotangent 3x cosecant raised to 4 3x differential of x okay the first thing to do here is to actually inspect inspect natin yung integral kung meron ba tayong derivative na may extract okay out of this Going back to differential calculus, we have here the derivative of cotangent u. Okay, that is equal to negative cosecant squared u, derivative of u, that inside function. So, pwede natin ma-extract si cotangent u. Okay, if meron tayong expression na cosecant squared u, derivative of u, here's the expression. So, in order to do that, Ito si cosecant raised to 4, 3x dx, ibibreak down natin siya. Ipa-factor out natin yung cosecant squared 3x. So, this becomes integral of cotangent 3x okay, times cosecant squared 3x times cosecant squared 3x derivative of x. As we recall in trigonometry that uh, we have here cosecant, okay, squared theta, that is equal to 1 plus cotangent squared theta. So, we can express cosecant squared 3x in terms of cotangent squared 3x. So, therefore, cosecant squared 3x is equal to 1 plus cotangent squared 3x. So, the reason behind kung bakit natin ginagamitan ng trigonometric identity is to actually uh, simplify the equation. So, kasi pag ginamitan natin ng ganito, okay, pwede natin mahiwalay siya into two parts. Okay, let's try it. So, integral of cotangent 3x, then let's just change this to 1 plus cotangent squared 3x. Okay, so 1 plus cotangent squared 3x then we have here cosecant squared 3x derivative of x ayan then si cotangent 3x i distribute natin siya dito okay let's di distribute it here okay distribute natin siya dito so integral of cotangent okay times 1 yon so that is just cotangent 3x so, ito, cotangent 3x times cotangent squared 3x. So, this becomes cotangent cube 3x. Okay? So, times cosecant squared 3x derivative of x. Now, ihiwalay natin yung dalawa. Okay? So, this becomes, ito naman si cosecant squared 3x ang i-distribute natin dito sa so dalawa. Okay, so this becomes the integral of cotangent 3x, okay, cosecant squared 3x, derivative of x, and we have here plus the integral of cotangent cubed 3x times cosecant squared 3x, derivative of x. Ayan. So here, as you can see, guys, the derivative of cotangent 3x is actually negative cosecant squared 3x. Then, differentiate natin yung nasa loob. That is 3. Okay, 3 times 3 dx. So therefore, you can actually use power formula here. Okay, kasi katabi na ni cotangent, yung derivative niya. Okay, so as we recall, balikan natin that the integral of u raised to n, derivative of u, is equal to u raised to n plus 1 all over n plus 1 
plus C. Okay, here, as you can see, cotangent 3x is yung uh, u natin, and yung n niya is 1 here, then yung du niya consists of the expression cosecant squared 3x. So, dito magbabalance na lang tayo in order for us to actually satisfy this form para magamit natin si formula. Same thing as here. Okay, yung ating u here sa other side is cotangent 3x. Yung n natin, n is 3, that is cube. And then yung du natin also consists of the expression cosecant squared. Okay, so it's a matter of balancing na lang to actually perform the formula. Okay, let's do this. Okay, from this expression here, yung unang expression sa left side. Okay, if ang u natin dito is cotangent 3x, okay, the derivative of u, negative cosecant squared 3x times, of course, i-derivative pa rin natin yung nasa loob, that is times 3. Okay, differential of x. Okay, pwede natin siyang ilagay dito. Okay, that is your chain rule, guys. Chain rule, always remember that. So, 3 here, then dx dito. In order to apply power formula, kailangan natin na yung du, okay, etong expression na to, this expression here should also be equal dito. So, what is the missing constant? So, yung missing constant is negative 3. So, as you can see here, walang negative 3 dito sa expression. So, doon na papasok si balancing uh, constant natin. So, we have here times, lagay natin dito, negative 3. Okay, ayan. So, if this is your u, ito na yung, okay, if this is u here, ito na yung du natin. Okay. So, since naglagay tayo ng constant dito, hindi naman pwede na, uh, hindi tayo magbabalance because it's not equal to the original function. So, if you put negative 3 here, you should balance here a negative one third. Okay, so negative one third times negative three, that is just one. Okay, so parang wala ka lang ginawa. Pero may ginawa ka dahil sinatisfy mo yung uh, power formula in order to apply the formula itself. Okay, so ganun yung rule guys on integral calculus. You cannot actually perform the formula if yung form natin is hindi pa siya okay. So, gagamit ka ng mga uh, balancing constant in order to satisfy the form and eventually use the formula. Okay? So, same thing here sa right side. Ito ilabas natin. Try natin ilabas C cube para mas okay yung form niya. Okay? Same thing lang yun. So, dito, yung U pa rin natin is, so, ang U natin dito is cotangent 3x. Okay? So, what is the derivative of cotangent 3x? The derivative of cotangent 3x, of course, is negative 3. Cosecant squared 3x derivative of x. So, in this expression, wala tayong negative 3. Okay, lalagyan natin siya ng negative 3. So, dapat may negative 3 dito. Since if ito yung u natin, okay, ito yung derivative of u natin. Okay, you will satisfy this form. And then, yung n natin in this uh, right side is 3. Okay, satisfied? Then, of course, don't forget to balance it out outside of the integral sign. So, naglagay ka ng negative 3, lagyan mo dito ng negative 1 third. Okay, so, ayun yung balancing constant natin. Okay, satisfied na yung ating mga form. You can actually now apply the power formula. That is negative 1 third. Lagay natin. Okay, don't forget the constant. So, that is negative 1 third. Apply natin si power formula. Ano yung u dito? So, yung u dito is cotangent 3x. Then, of course, ang n natin here is 1. So, 1 plus 1. So, this is 1 plus 1. Okay, over n plus 1. So, that is 1 plus 1. Yung right side natin, that is negative 1 third. So, lagay na lang natin dito negative minus. Okay, minus. 1 third din. Then you have here, okay, cotangent. So yung u natin dito, same thing, cotangent 3x. Okay, raised to n plus 1. So that is 3 plus 1. So 3 plus 1 here, 
then you have here so n plus 1 yung denominator so this is 3 plus 1 and of course don't forget your constant c okay simplifying this this becomes okay negative one third so negative cotangent okay ito 1 plus 1 is, is squared siya so 2 so squared 3x all over so yung 3 natin we can bring that down sa denominator so that is 3 times 2 here so 3 times 2 that is 6 okay minus ito naman that is cotangent okay raised to 4 okay 3x all over so ito this is 3 times okay 3 times 4 so this becomes 12 and this is plus c okay so this is now the final answer for this problem thank you guys for supporting this channel uh, since day one sa mga subscribers natin dito and if you are uh, an avid fan of this channel guys thank you thank you thank you so much and of course you can visit my facebook page facebook.com slash engineerprofph as always guys stay safe and god bless you all